Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Hobby Central. We got another break here for you today for two Elite Trainer Boxes of Champions Path. We have break number 0023. Spots one and two going out to Brandon. Spot three, Jeffrey Rudiger getting back into it. Nate getting back into it. Sandin coming in big, not playing around. Four spots. And Kevin bringing up the rear at spot 10. Thank you guys so much for getting in on this one. Let's go ahead and get these broken down, brada. So we hadn't done two boxes of Champion's Path in a while because we were running out of inventory. So we were trying to do one box and pair it with like Shiny Star V and stuff like that. But we were able to get um, some more supply in. We were able to resupply. They just sent out a, sep a second wave of these. Um, so that helped a lot. So we're kicking it back off here with two boxes of Champion's Path. Let's get right into it. So you guys know how Champion's Path works. We'll break down all the packs, obviously. Uh, but then at the end, we get to raffle off this bad boy right here. Not one, but two bad boys. Corners looking pretty clean. Edge is pretty clean. Centering not so bad. If I can get it to stay up back there. All right. Here are the packs. Let's get this out of the way. <clears throat> Here we go. Second ETB. What was that? Oh my lord, no! The Charizard was stuck in the cardboard insert and it fell out into the trash. And look at it. Oh man. That really sucks. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't do it, though. I swear. It was caught in the cardboard, and it was already like that. It looks like when they shoved that cardboard insert down in there, or put the lid on the on the box or something, they smashed it down in. That really sucks. That's unfortunate. Um, the other one... The other one's really good, at least. Man, that is unfortunate. That, that does make me sad. Unfortunately, things like that do happen. I know I opened uh, an ETB myself last night, uh, just just for myself, with my own monies, and uh, my Charizard had all kinds of edging problems. The corner was jacked up, but this one on the left looks pretty good, so you got that going for you. All right, and then we've got the dice here, the 10-sided die. Autofocus, come on, buddy. Uh, we've got the 10-sided die here that we will roll those Charizards. Um, we'll roll, the, roll those away to the spots at the end. So even if your packs don't hit, uh, don't be discouraged. I almost forgot to shuffle all that, all that craziness. Let's do something like this, and then let's do it one more time. Let's do that, 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 and that. Charizards keep sliding down. I don't care anymore. All right, here we go. Those are not equal stacks. Maybe that ish. All right, we're going to start off here with spot numero uno and two, actually. Brandon. Brandon got spots one and two. So we're going to do one, two, three, and four packs for Mr. Brandon. Let's see what we can get you, my friend. Why is it so hot in my office? I'm like freaking out right now. <clears throat> I'm sweating. I'm sweating. All right. Here we go. One, two, three, and four to the front. And let's see what we got. Oh, I think we've got. I think we've got a hit back there. First pack hit here for Brandon, I believe. Let's see what we've got for you, buddy. Thank you so much for getting in on this, guys. We appreciate you, Pokeball, and a grab lock. V, not a bad start. We're starting with a V. You know what? It wasn't a Scrafty, so there's always that, right? That's always a good thing. All right. 
yeah thank you guys everybody that got in on this if you guys haven't been on the website in a while we are offering uh, personal breaks now so I just broke uh, an entire box of champions path for Barry shout out to Barry and we're still doing the group breaks and we are going to be starting our live breaks soon where you can buy in as little as one pack at a time so it'll be a much lower cost of entry for those of you guys that maybe look at the group prices and say you know i don't know if i can do that right now pokemon center lady and behind it professor's research holographic so we will be rolling live breaks once a week probably on the weekends the listing on the website for the packs will be there the entire week so you have plenty of time to get on there and it'll say the date of the live break and what time it'll start and you'll be able to buy as little as one pack and up to I don't know we haven't decided if we're gonna put a, a limit I don't think we are so if you want to buy 20 30 packs you can so that's what we're going to do, and it's going to be a lot of fun, and there's going to be a bunch of people that are going to get packs, and then we're going to open them all live on stream. we got a Leopard and an Altaria. I'm really looking forward to the live breaks. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. We're also going to be doing sports packs for those live breaks. So uh, that's something that we're looking to start in January. Uh, with all the stuff going on here at the end of the December uh, month, We've already done so much this month, and then, you know, we got holidays and stuff, too, to tend to with our families, so we figured we'll set our sights on January for that. All right, here we go. Our last pack for Mr. Brandon. Good luck, my friend. I hope you pull something big. Galarian Lanoon and a Marnie Holographic. I'm getting really upset that we have not seen... A rainbow zard yet i have to see all these clips of people opening rainbow zards and rainbow pikachus and i just i need one i need one in my life quick recap boom grapplocked v all right thank you so much brandon for getting in on this one we appreciate you brother we'll see you on the next one all right uh up next we have jeffrey b two packs here we go ladies and gentlemen here we go. Uh, our personal breaks, I know I mentioned those a second ago. We are running personal breaks now. I think we've done three so far. We're running personal breaks for Shiny Star V, Champion's Path, and Vivid Voltage at the moment. That's what we have available. Oh, I do want you guys to check out, we have uh, Japanese set Team Up. If you guys want to get in on that, it is a pretty low, I think the spots are 16 bucks. Boom, Hatterene holographic. We have, uh, yeah, I think it, I think it's 16, so a little bit lower than normal, a little bit more of an affordable. Now, keep in mind, read these listings, guys. We put all the details about the packs and how many cards and all that stuff. The Japanese team upset that we are currently uh, getting close to breaking. We've already sold quite a few spots, so if you want to get in on it, get on it quick. We don't have much. Um, I think I have one more box. Um, what was I saying? Um, oh, there's, I think it's three packs per spot, because there's 30 packs in a K in a box. Uh, three packs per spot, and f there's only five cards in these packs, so it's a little bit different. So you get 15 cards, three packs, but it's a much lower entry cost. Full heal, and behind it, a Dredna V. Congratulations on your V hit. Would really like to see some V Max and possibly some rainbows come out of this. I'm going to try to start doing every spot, just do a little quick recap of your hits boom 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 there you go i need to see that rainbow charizard i just need to see it jeffrey thank you so much for getting in on it hope you're happy with your packs my dude uh rudiger spot number four two packs here we go here we go don't forget guys if i've already opened your packs make sure you stick to the end because it ain't over yet baby we gotta roll that die give away those charizards all right First pack for Rudiger. Here we go. We got a Great Ball. Oidle. Carvana. Na na na. 
a reverse hollow B drill, and behind it, another Dreadnought V. Everybody gets a Dreadnought V. You get a Dreadnought V. You get a Dreadnought V. Everybody gets a discount Blastoise. All right. Let's. We're not gonna lie though. That's that's you know that's not what we're looking for here. We're looking for that Rainbow Zard, and somebody's gonna pull it. I know it's gonna happen one day. Somebody's gonna pull that Charizard. And I am going to be so happy for you. All right, here we go. Our last pack here for Rudiger. A Machoke. I love the art on that card. I really do. Weedle, Purloin, Pokeball, Inke, Zigzagoon, Pierre's Reverse Hollow. And behind it, another Holographic Professor's Research. Man. No Charizard this time, my friend. Unless you get the one at the end of the stream. The Promo. There's your hits. Thank you again. See you on the next one. All right. Spot number five goes to Nate. Two packs. Boom. A boom. You guys smell that? You guys smell that? I think. I think. I think it's a Charizard. I think it's a. I think it is, dude. I think I smell. A fire lizard. Here we go. Let's see. B drill. Milo. Is that Milo or Milo? Somebody let me know in the comments. No idea. Trubbish. Literal trash Pokemon. Hop. Reverse. Hollow. And behind it, a Duralid Duralid Duraladon. Duraladon. I think that would be how you'd pronounce that. I don't know if I've seen a Duraladon. Cool. At least it's a different V. Something we haven't seen yet. It's not another Dreadnaw. Interesting. Looks like a giant pile of rocks or something along those lines. All right, here's your second pack. Mr. Nate. All right. Four to the front. Let's see what we got. I can smell it. It's one of these two packs is a Charizard. We got the Arbok. Carvana, Vulpix, Zygarde Reverse, and a Zygarde Hollow. That's okay. That's interesting. You don't see that happen too often. I think uh, Chaos was hitting those a lot when we first started. He was hitting a whole bunch. Every, every it seemed like everything he broke, he would he'd get a Reverse and then the Hollow right behind it. Or maybe he was just getting the non-Hollow and then the Reverse behind. I don't know, something like that. But those are your hits, my man. Thank you so much, Nate. We appreciate you. See you guys on the next break. Or see you, specifically, Nate. Our next four spots, six, seven, eight, and nine, belong to Sandin. So we've got one, two, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight. Yes. Okay. Whew. I thought I messed up there for a second. I didn't think I had enough packs. All right. So we got eight packs for Mr. Sandin. And then the last two packs are going to go to Kevin, bringing up the 10 spot. So here we go. Lots of packs for Mr. Sandin. And obviously, because he's got four spots, uh, he's got a really good chance of getting at least one of those promo Zards at the end. Here we go. First pack. For Mr. San Sandin? Is that how you pronounce that? I'm not sure. I'm terrible with names, so I apologize in advance. Here we go. Carvana, na na na, potion, a rotom phone, and a Scorch. A holographic fire card that gets you excited because you think your mind goes, Charizard! Charizard's a fire Pokemon. And then you see that it's a, a flaming tapeworm, and you're like, well, maybe I'm not as excited now as I would have been if it was a giant fire lizard. You know, maybe I'm not quite as excited as I would have been. All right. Four to the front. Here we go. Fire energy summoning the fire lizard. Sharpedo. We took a torpedo. We took a shark. We put them together. What do you get? A Sharpedo. Kakuna, Pokeball, Machop, Reverse Hollow Weedle, and an Alcremie... 
alchemy. We got strawberries in our hair V. All right. On to the next pack. <clears throat> Here we go. Thank you guys again for all the love. You guys have been amazing getting in on breaks, helping us close them out, all that good stuff. None of this would be possible without you guys. Keep it going, guys. We're trying to we're trying to make big moves in the game right now. Things are going to get more fun and more crazy as we go. We got a Scrafty Reverse Hollow and another Professor's Research Holographic Trainer. So many Professor Research and Scrafties just bringing people to tears. All right. That pack was smooth like butter. Here we go. Four to the front. The Psychic Energy to start. Leopard, Bidet, Carvana, no, 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 Rock Ruff, Weedle, Swablu. Scentiscorch Hollow again. What is going on with these Scentiscorch? Oh my, Lanta. All right, we got four packs left here. The commons are just kind of getting out of control. All right, here we go. Still going for Sandin here. Sandin, Sandin, like Brandon with an S, right? Maybe, I don't know. I'm probably butchering it. I should probably just stop trying. I'm just gonna make it worse, right? Starting off with Psychic, Suspicious Food 10, Hyper Potion. A full heal. You got all the potions. All the spray bottles. Another potion. A full hollow water energy. Ah, there's some print lines. Is that what? Is that what's considered print lines? I can see the lines up there. And then an Altaria holographic. I actually think that the... Uh, I actually think that those um, energy hollows are, are pretty cool myself. I mean, you know, it's not the hollow I'm rooting for when I open a pack, but they are kind of cool to see. Let's let's be honest. All right, four to the front. Water energy. Arbok. A bike. A cat. A ball. A zigzagoon. A trubbish. Is that a reverse? It is. A reverse Malamar and another holographic Zygarde. Right. Here we go. I want to know who's going to pull the first rainbow. Either Rainbow Pikachu or Rainbow Charizard. Either one. I want to know who's going to pull. I think I think Jimmy pulled the first Charizard. As far as just Charizards go. But I have also pulled a Charizard out of Japanese team up. That wasn't a break. That was just a personal opening. There was a Hobby Central opening, but it wasn't. No one bought in on it. Unfortunately, because somebody would have got a Zard. But who's going to pull a rainbow? No one's pulled a rainbow yet. That's going to happen. It will. It will happen. A Victini reverse and a... Ah, Scrafty, get out of here, buddy. No one... No one likes you. Why am I even sleeving you, Scrafty? Oof. All right. Look at all those sleeved cards. Last pack. Some last pack magic for Mr. Sandin. Not our last pack for the break, but our last pack for Sandin. Let's see. Thank you so much for buying four spots, man. Appreciate it. Really helped close this one out, obviously. I don't know how many more we're going to be able to close out before Christmas. We're getting... Right down to the wire. All right, here you go. Last pack. Ooh, we got something back there, guys. Oh, is that, is that the Zard? Oh, I'm excited. I think Landon might have clutched up on this one. All right, we got the full hollow leaf energy. And behind it, come on. Oh, 
it's the Alchemy V. But still, still exciting. I don't know for what, I don't know why. For some reason, I really thought that that might have been the Zard for a second. All right. Quick recap. Come on, autofocus, work with me. You got all kinds of shiny stuff here. Congratulations, my friend. Couple Vs, too. So, that's pretty cool. And then you got a deck of commons. Two decks, almost. So many commons. All right. Let's see if I can stack these. Thank you so much, Sandin, again. Appreciate you, brother. All right, moving on. Our last spot here, Kevin. Kevin, thanks for closing us out, buddy. Let's see what you got. Some last spot magic. Hopefully. From Mr. Kevin. Alright. Four. To the front. Here we go. Starting off with some psychic energy. And a Milo. A bee drill. A cat. An Ekans. Potion. Vulpix. Reverse. Hatina. And another Hatern. Hatterene. I always want to say Hatern. I don't know why. It's just stuck in my brain to call it a Hatern. Well, you got the Hatena. Hatena. Hatina. Is that how you say that? Hatina. And then you got the Hatterene. So if you're a fan of that Pokemon and all of its evolutions, then you just hit the jackpot, my friend. All right, our last pack here again, guys. Thank you so much for getting in on this Champions Path Break 0023. You guys are amazing. You guys have been keeping us busy, and we're having so much fun, and we're so excited to take this to the next level, and it wouldn't be possible without you guys. We will see you guys on the next break, because I know you'll be back. What do we got? A Turfield Stadium reverse and a Machamp Holographic. Big fan of this card. Doesn't really necessarily have huge value or anything, but it is a very nice card. I'm a big fan of the artwork and how it looks in Hollow. You can also get the reverse version of that card, which is pretty cool if you're a Machamp fan, like myself. I'm a fan of the Machamp. Big, buff, crazy rock monster dude. There's your hits. All right. That's all she wrote for this one, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wait. Charizards. I almost forgot. All right. Scoot the Charizards over. We have our 10-sided die. Uh, so this, you got evens on one side, odds on the other, and the zero is your 10. So you got one, three, five, excuse me, one, three, five, seven, nine on this side. And then you've got two, four, six, eight, zero, zero being 10. I don't know why they did that. I don't know why they don't just print the 10. But anyways, I'm going to try to roll the die to where it's on camera. So let's roll... The bad one first. <sighs> that just makes me sick. I am so sorry to whoever got this. I mean, it's still a Charizard. You can put it in a top loader and straighten it back out a little bit, but that is brutal to see. So let's start with the bent Charizard. Whoops. Start with the bent Charizard. You got spot eight. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Going out to Sandin. So the way I'm doing this if I roll the die, spot eight is now ineligible. So if we hit an eight again, I will re-roll. But he can still get the win on six, seven, and nine, if that makes sense. All right, here we go for the good Charizard. We got spot number three. Three going to Jeffrey B. Thank you so much for playing, guys. We appreciate you. We'll see you guys on the next break. Bye-bye.